to mount the coil or electrical distributor. Uh, these are the wires that come from the engine. Uh, this is the one that connects to the spark plug. You want to mount it up top like this. This bike has a pretty, pretty big uh, front, front um, whatever you want to call it, frame part. So when you try to mount it like this, it won't mount. You're supposed to have these go through and have these little screws, but it's physically not possible. I grab out cable ties. I go through, through it. I'm gonna go through this way so I can do it a little bit easier. And bring it around. Put it far enough up so it can be out of your way. This does not need to be grounded. So it's not like one of those where it has to be ground or anything like that. And I'll take another two and I'll strap that down. I got these it all strapped down now. Here's three wire ties. This thing ain't going nowhere. Here's the kill switch. Of course we're gonna have to strip them down and everything else. This is like size 18 wire, 1820 gauge wire. So I'm going to strap this now to the front. When I strap them, I just strap them as close as I can. Follow the neck of the, of the frame down, follow it down, and strap it down. You want to make sure there's enough slack. So if you're taking a right hand turn, you ain't going to have a problem with it. But if you have a left hand turn, where it's going to call for more, then you're going to, have, you're going to want to have a little bit of slack. Since everything is strapped down now, I remove this boot up here. Um, I'm going to come in, crimp these wires off, and people say, you plug these in, but look, it ain't gonna work. It just doesn't. Might as well do it right the first time. That way you don't have to do repeat the process. So take off those clamps. Um, one thing about these coils also, they're kind of cheap. In fact, they're real cheap. Um, so sometimes they do bust. I'm forewarning you guys. Uh, spark plugs, they aren't bad but you can't go down to the store and get a regular spark plug you have to go back on ebay and get that so i got these wires all cut up and done up these ones done up and these ones done up uh like i said before white wires are six volts power so if you wanted the light that was charged by this what i would do is i would hook this up to a battery for a trickle charge um, some source of battery and have your light run off your battery with its own switch and this just being in charge but you want to put a charge controller in there too because this is always going to be six volts and if you overcharge battery boom anyway that direction heat shrink tubing you can buy a little kits like this makes it look all nice and fancy and schmancy like you know what the hell you're doing so you want to put it in here like so before you splice all your wires up and then Feed it on through. Make sure that little white tab right there is tight. A lighter. There it is. Bring it up. I know people say, don't use lighter and heat shrink tubing. Blah, 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 blah. I know. Insulation, this, that, whatnot. I understand. I get it. I really, truly do. Being an electrician, I know this. But as long as I'm not hurting the circular mills, or anything else and that's that let that cool off that one's done what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a splice in here because you're not going to have enough room especially heating straight tubing and everything else so there's a black wire and there's a blue wire we have two reds a little electrician trick after you do your splice make it black make it black again do your splice again so that way if you ever have to cut open the heat shrink tubing you will know this is the black wire and this black wire if this black wire and this black wire don't mix guess what happens the bike doesn't run so let me splice all this up um, get all heat shrink tubing and then we'll go from there um, so the blue wire blue wire and yellow layer wire go together the black the black and the black go together I got all this mounted up 
heat shrink tubed the whole thing, spliced it all together. The spark plugs on, everything's hooked up, all electrical systems hooked up. Next thing we want to do, move this over, we're going to assemble the muffler. 